Hi everyone, my name is Mason Goodnight. Tonight I want to talk to you a little bit about uh, kind of a challenge I'm making and uh, just uh, some resources I'm offering. I'm wanting to talk to atheists, agnostics, anybody who doesn't believe in uh, biblical Christianity, to believe that uh, Jesus Christ and the Bible are what truth is all about. I want to be able to give people some information so that they can make an intelligent decision about what they believe. For those out there who are atheists or agnostics, who are willing to be open-minded, willing to look at some evidence, I want to be able to provide evidence for them. I hear so often times on YouTube I've been ridiculed myself and seen other people ridiculed and talk trash about just saying that there's no evidence for the Bible, there's no proof. Well that's a ludicrous statement in and as itself because everything that you see out there is evidence. We all have the same amount of evidence. It's a matter of what your interpretation of that evidence, what does it say to you? What is your predisposition? What presuppositions have you made that are going to make you look at that evidence and go, this is what I believe it says? Evolution, creation, belief, not belief, whatever it is. You make that choice of your own in your own head. But there's plenty of evidence. So I want to just provide some of that evidence for people. I am not sitting here telling you I am any better than anybody else, I'm any smarter than anybody else, that I have anything going for me that would make God want to choose me or make me some reason God would make me a Christian and save my soul from hell over anybody else. I, I am simply just like my t-shirt says, I am the wretch the song refers to. You know, amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. It's only by the grace of God through the sacrifice the loving sacrifice of Jesus Christ on the cross, coming and taking all my sin and all the world's sin on himself and dying that day, and yet proving he was God come in the flesh by being crucified, dying, being buried and resurrecting three days later, witnessed by over 500 people, recorded in the Bible, and backed up by all kinds of evidence and resources, and that's what I want to talk to you about. If you've ever thought, hey, there there might be a God, or I don't believe there's a God, but I'm open-minded, I'm willing to look at some evidence. I want to offer you a free resource. I've been looking around town, and as I've looked around, I've picked up copies of a book that I think is great. If you've ever watched my Bibles Over Barbells videos, you know I've talked about Josh McDowell. He's put together some great stuff. Josh was at first in college when he set out to disprove the Bible, definitely not a believer, wanting to shut the Christians down, and as he researched, found out, wow, this stuff's got to be true. And he's got a great book that's been put out in print for many years, and uh, I picked up four copies of it, and I want to make them available to, and if I pick up more, I'll give more, the first four atheists, agnostics, non-believers, whoever you are, that want to do a little bit of reading, are willing to look at a little bit of the evidence and see if there's anything at all to the Bible and its claims. And I want to offer you a copy of more Than a Carpenter by Josh McDowell. Now this is an incredibly popular book, been out for years, and how I can tell you that, and I would see, just because this is a much older copy, and you can see up there in the corner, it says more than 500,000 copies in print. And you see this next copy here, a little bit newer, more than a million copies in print. And then the most recent version, at least the most recent I have, more than 10 million copies in print. So, when something's good, when something's effective, then you're going to see it reprinted. When a book's gobbled up when people really take it in you're going to see it continually reprinted we don't want to waste money in ministry we don't want to misuse God's resources but Josh has seen that this has been effective, lives have been changed people have turned their life over to Christ by looking at the evidence that's in here and this is by far not a big read you can see really thin top 120 pages knock it out in a couple of hours really simple but lots of references not even everybody necessarily a believer or at least started as a believer Lots of good, common sense resource information, but good proof that it makes sense that Jesus is God. The Bible is real. And for those that are just out there saying, well, I don't think there's any evidence, but you're willing to look if there is any, I'm giving it to you free. All you got to do is send me a personal message on my YouTube page. I will send you a book to the first four people, and as I get more, I will try to dig them up. If a lot of people ask, I'll try to find copies, and I'll send them out free of charge as I get to, as I get them in. Also, what I want to offer you to look into is, I'm not going to send these out because these are way spendy, but uh, if you've looked at this and you thought, well, you know, 
that kind of wet my appetite and you know maybe there is some that really seems like there is some validity to the claims and you want to dig deeper well then I highly recommend Josh McDowell's Already Defense now, this is packed full of lots of evidence and lots of resources from a lot of his books and it's a big read it is an easy read and this is this is deep but it's easy to read it lays out even the evidence for the Bible but it also lays out the differences between Christianity and other world religions and I mean it's just packed full of good stuff I've read it all the way through it's a great book now if you want the ultimate resource guide through Josh and I'm not saying there's better and bigger and lots more resources because you can find a lot of this stuff on YouTube if you just look but if you like that and you want to dig deeper then I highly recommend the new evidence that demands a verdict great big thick resource guide packed chock full of resources information big bibliography lots of information from lots of different sources lots of people respectable scholars respectable scientists all kinds of people saying wow the evidence for the Bible it stands out amongst all the other scriptures, all the other holy books in all of history, it stands out alone as unique. It is the one. And I want to offer these books, these More Than a Carpenters, to you if you're interested in doing a little bit of research. So if you're picking up, you subscribe to my videos. I recommend you just please pass it on to other people you know that uh, have argued and maybe want some resources. You want to filter them to me. I'd be happy to kick this resource down to them. Or if you're a person who uh, is just checking out the thread, you know, atheist, agnostic, whatever, this is for you. If you really want to do a little study that is far from going to break your back, real quick, easy, free, but if you're honest, an honest person with an open mind, like people say they have, then this is for you. I mean, free, easy. Can't complain about it at all. Just take a look at it. Now, obviously, I can't prove 100% anything, but I can definitely make it so reasonable with just the information Josh has got here that really any reasonable person would go, this has got to be real. But we know that God calls all those that are going to be saved, and yet you're never going to know if you're one of the called unless you make that decision. So I give you the opportunity to get the information you say you need if you're out there saying, I need the proof. Well, here is plenty of it for you, and you can dig deeper and deeper. But above all else, I just encourage you, if this doesn't kind of pick up a Bible, you know, this isn't going to save you anyway. This is just going to give you some evidence. I encourage you above all else, pick up a Bible, pick up a Gospel of John, just read the Gospel of John, just read chapter 1 through chapter 3, or just read chapter 3. You read through that whole book, you take the time to read that book, you'll knock it out in a few hours. It's only, you know, 30, 40 pages, I mean, it's no matter what version it's in, it's pretty short. It's easy reading, but it's deep, and it's God speaking to you about His love. Jesus Christ loved you so much. God loved the world so much that he sent his only begotten son, Jesus Christ, to die on the cross, to take your sins, to take all my sins. And he was dead, buried, and resurrected three days later. Anybody who believes on him, who trusts in him, who repents, who turns from their sin and says, Lord, I've blown it. I am totally depraved. I know I can't earn my way to heaven, and there's no way I'm making it on my own. And they're saying, I, I give up, Lord. I'm coming to you. Forgive me. Come be the Lord of my life. Fill me up. Guide me. Fill me with your spirit and lead me all the days of my life. He'll do that. Read the Bible. Check out Josh's books. Give me any questions you've got. I'd appreciate and love to be able to help anybody I can. God bless you. Have a great day. Hi, it's Mason again. Here's just another little P.S. I'm just going to kind of throw in for you. You saw the little presentation with Josh. If you call for the book or if you call and I don't have a book and you still want one, let me know. I'll send you for free a million bucks, a million dollar bill. Maybe you've seen these on one of my Bibles over barbell videos. They're pretty cool. Even if you don't like God at all and you just uh, think it's all a bunch of hooey, I've never had anybody turn one of these down and give them to them. A million bucks. Who wants to turn down a million bucks? Anyway, if you want one, it's got a it's got a plan for salvation on the back, and uh, it, it's pretty cool. I mean, they've been handed out to all kinds of folks, really popular, and they they look pretty realistic. I mean, you know, like I said, who doesn't want to be a millionaire? Uh, free million dollars. Anybody that calls or writes my YouTube page, and I'll throw my business card in there as well. Jesus Love Ministries. You find my different web pages, MySpace, and stuff like that come with every book and if anybody just wants one of these I'd be happy to send them too. God bless. See you later.